Font management has never been easier. In OS X, there's a built-in application called FontBook. You can get to FontBook by choosing Go, Applications. In the Applications folder is where you can find FontBook. You can also open it from Launchpad. In Launchpad, it's found in the Other folder. FontBook shows you all the fonts installed on the computer that you can access. Select a font family to get a preview. If you want to see more about a font, click the triangle to the left. Select a font variation, and from the toolbar, you can choose the repertoire. You can also choose a custom message. Click the third icon and make changes. The custom message will stay there as you select other fonts. This is a great way to find that font that you need. However, some fonts can't display all characters. If we look in the repertoire, we can see English characters are not part of this font. Not all fonts are installed on the computer. Fonts that are labeled off are either turned off or need to be downloaded. Select a font that's labeled off and click the square at the bottom to enable it. As we can see, we need to download this font in order to use it. OS X automatically downloads and installs the font for us. You can create font collections in the left-hand side of FontBook. Some have been created for you. We have fun fonts, modern fonts, and more. You can create your own collection by clicking the plus button. Return to all fonts and drag a font to your collection. As you can see, you can drag entire families. We can also create a smart collection denoted by a gear. Choose File, New Smart Collection. In the dropdown, add the criteria just like when creating a smart folder. I'll create a collection called Symbols. The criteria is that the design style is symbol. Click OK and your smart collection is created. With a font selected, click the inspector. The inspector gives you more information about the font, including the family name, style, kind, and more. When you add a font to OS X, there are two places you can add fonts. You can add a font to a folder that only you can access, or a font folder that everybody can access. You can make that decision in FontBook, Preferences. By default, OS X will only install fonts in your home folder. If you choose the computer folder, everybody on the computer can access those fonts. Let's download a free font and see how easy it is to install a font. In Safari, I'll do a quick Google search for free fonts. I'll download the first one, called One Starry Night. Once the font is downloaded, I can see it in my downloads folder as a zip file. A zip file is a compressed file that first needs to be uncompressed. You can uncompress it by selecting it. Now in my downloads folder, I see a One Starry Night folder. If I open that folder, I can see one starry night .ttf, a true type font. To install a font, either drag it onto the FontBook application, or if you don't have it open, double click the font and choose Install Font. The font is quickly validated and installed on the computer. If you're having trouble opening a document that contains many fonts, try validating the fonts. You can validate your fonts by choosing Edit, Select All, File, Validate Fonts. FontBook will go through and check all the fonts that you have selected. When it's done validating, choose Warning or Errors. If there's any issues, you can choose Remove Checked and try opening your document again. You will have to select a new font for the font that was deleted.
With most applications, when a font is installed, it is immediately available in the application. From Launchpad, open Text Edit. Click New Document. Choose Format, Font, Show Fonts. This will show you a small version of Fontbook available in all applications that support the OS X built-in Fontbook. We can also see our collections in this window, including our smart collections. I'll choose all fonts and download another font. I'll uncompress the font and select it to install it. Once the font's installed, I move back to text edit. We can see that font is now available in text edit without having to close, reopen, or restart the computer. If I delete the font by selecting it and choosing File, Remove, I can see the font has been immediately removed from text edit.